Tennessee Congressman, member of the House Ways and Means Committee, Congressman David Kustoff joins me. Nice to see you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, so it's, uh, it's quite an inch like musical chairs up there. You know, it is. It's, uh, it's been a tough time for the nation. Certainly over the last two weeks, Kevin McCarthy never should have been ousted, <laughs> uh, former Speaker McCarthy. Uh, of course, eight Republicans teamed up with, with Democrats uh, for that move. And there was really no, there was no plan B <laughs> for those people who removed Speaker McCarthy. We've had two good men offer themselves, Steve Scalise and, and Jim Jordan. Jim Jordan is now the choice of the, of the conference. To your point, we met for about three and a half hours today in a, in a, in a closed room. People expressed a lot of different opinions. Well, what were they saying? I mean, what's the problem? I mean, like, I mean, look, you're not going to get Mr. Perfect or Miss Perfect at this point. We need, you know, I don't know what they're looking for. What's what, the ones who don't want Chairman Jordan, for instance, that the conference chose? What's the problem with them? I think there. Well, I've heard a number of concerns from the people who don't support Jim Jordan. Some supported Steve Scalise to be the to be the speaker. As you remember, Steve actually got more votes in our internal meeting than Jim Jordan. But in fact, a week ago today, uh, Steve Scalise said, I don't think I can get to 217 votes and I'm going to pull out. And that meant that, uh, that Jim Jordan moved up and became our uh, speaker designee. There's some people who felt like Steve shouldn't have withdrawn and should have gone so, forward. There's some so people it's that, not ideology, it's grudge. Well, I, I think there are a number of things. Some of it is... Some of it may be ideology. Here's, here's the point, though. Uh, Jim Jordan's our speaker designee. We all need to come together. We need a speaker of the House. Uh, to your point, President Biden may send an aid package in the next few days. We cannot vote. We can't vote on an aid package. We can't vote on a resolution condemning Hamas. We can't vote on any resolution supporting Israel until we have a speaker. Well, you know, it, it, the thing is that all those things are very important, obviously, but there's the added thing is that the world is watching us. Right. And we used to be sort of the, you know, the, the stability in the world, the global leader. Now we look, I mean, it looks a little almost clownish that we can't, we can't even like come up with a government, we, you know, we, you know, the, to, to get things done. We're not gonna get the perfect government, but everybody's watching us and, and, and why, you know, so I, I imagine they, you know, they're very disappointed in us, our allies. Well, to your point, we need to get a speaker. I'll remind people, though, that when Kevin McCarthy was selected back in November. Fifteen votes. Fifteen votes. But he had about 45 days to try to work and try to put a coalition and put those votes together, even though it took 15 votes. It's been about 15 or 16 days since Speaker McCarthy was removed, which meant uh, that Jim Jordan has actually had less than a week to try to put his, his votes together. It is, to your point, it's unprecedented. We've never had a speaker removed. Uh, so there's no playbook for this. But we need, to, we need to get behind our speaker designee. We need a speaker chosen. We need to get him on the floor and in the chair. It seems to me that somebody is better than nobody in recognition of the fact that there'll be a general election next November, that at least you'll get somebody there to run it and, you know, uh, so that we don't have to deal with all these sort of collateral problems in this rather urgent time. Yeah. You know, the math is the math, right? And so when you have to get 217 votes, 221 Republicans, it yeah. means you can only lose four votes if yeah. you're the speaker designee. So Jim Jordan is doing what he should be doing, which is meeting with the people who right now are either opposed to him or have a problem try to move him, and then, and then uh, Jordan decides when we come back for a vote. Wait, vote tonight or tomorrow? You know, when we left that meeting, we were told tonight, but I would say stay tuned. Well, the fact that you're on the set makes me think that, like, you're not rushing back, so we'll you see. You know what? I can get back really quick. I, I know. You're, you, you can move fast. Congressman David Kustoff, thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, you for having me.